Hello and welcome. My name is Devin Croswell and I'm an NX application engineer with Applied CAX. I'd like to thank you for joining me today as I take a quick look at what's new in NX Sketch. In 1926 release of NX, we are finally getting some fantastic updates to the Sketch environment. There are aspects of the old Sketcher that could be tedious and time consuming. This new Sketch is trying to eliminate all of those aspects. As I start up NX, the new Sketch Solver is available, but it is not on by default. Starting a new Sketch initially, I'm still in the old style Sketch environment. To turn on the new Sketch Solver, I will need to go to File, Utilities, Feature Toggles. Feature Toggles are relatively new to NX as well and they allow me to quickly turn on and off the functionality of different features. The toggles can be sorted by group and with the new sketch solver turned on I can now get to sketching. Notice that when I create a sketch the create sketch dialog box is the same. But now when I enter the environment, I have some new visuals and interactions. I have a horizontal and vertical infinite axis along with an origin point that I can easily snap to. The snap toggles are now right here in the viewer window. On my home tab, I have some new tools as well. Show movable, relax dimensions, relax relations, and some additional options. Using the profile tool, I can now start drawing in my desired sketch geometry. When I work my way around and get to where I have an enclosed profile, the shape will become shaded. This visually lets me know that I have an enclosed object in my sketch. Another visual cue that I have is the ability to clearly see what's movable. This is a toggle option on my home tab and when on, brown will indicate this ability while black tells me when objects are fully defined. As I click around on my sketch objects, dimensions will appear and you'll notice that I no longer have to worry about continuous auto dimensions that I want to turn on and off. When selected, I'm given dimensions in which to use. I can choose to select a point and drag to a new position. I can click on a dimension and make it persistent. And I also have access to uh, the old style rapid dimensioning. But the new solver will allow me to more easily use object action to quickly add and select dimensions. Notice that initially when I place dimensions my uh, numbers have uh, the approximate symbol beforehand and this is telling me that I have trailing decimal values. When a whole number is entered the approximate symbol is removed. I can also decide when I want dimensions to be recognized as expressions by NX. As I click on the lines NX is also inferring for me that what used to be geometric constraints are now being called relations. As I hover over a relation, the tooltip will tell me what has been found, and then I can click to relax. To relax a relation allows for that relation to be ignored, and I can now move my line. I can also toggle on the ability to create persistent relations. If I add an additional geometry to my sketch, I will be able to see some overlapping closed profiles and those will shade darker to let me know. As I add a couple of circles on the axis here, you can see that shade change. And as I click on my outer circle, I can see the inferred offset relation. So when I move my diameter, that offset relation stays in place. If I relax this relation, I can then change the diameter of that circle. 
If I want to move these circles off the axis, I can use a new functionality termed shake and break. I select and shake the object and the relation becomes broken. I can now move the circle where I want. The same can be done for lines of an enclosed profile. As I shake and break the relation here, the profile opens and is no longer shaded. I can quickly attach the endpoints back into the profile. In the new solver, it isn't as necessary as it once was to have the sketch fully defined. When finished, I can click finish on the sketch and move to my next operation within modeling. Thanks again for joining me today as I looked at only a few of the aspects of the new sketch solver in NX 1926.